Throughout the time we've known one another, and I've gotten to know you better than anyone else out of the seven billion people they say are on this planet. And I know what you love, what makes you want to set me on fire at times. We've grown together so much in the eight years we've had together. Some things have changed completely, but in so many ways they've stayed the same. I see the man you've become, but also still see the goofy 15-year-old guy I became friends with back then. And I'm so blessed for the milestones we've had together. I promise many, many things. But most importantly, I promise to listen to you, to love you, and to continue to make you laugh. I promise to realize that we're both on the same teams and that we're, our ultimate goal is to work for us. I've been so encouraged by the strengths that you each have. Parker, I'm amazed by the passion that God has created you with. And I get excited thinking about you bringing that passion into this relationship. Heather, I thank God for the wisdom that God has given you to help his passion know where to go. <laughs> if you had told me nine years, two months, and I'm not sure the days, but I know you know, when I'd met you, that I'd be standing here marrying you, I would have thought you were crazy. Parker, if you told me when we first met that I'd be standing here today about to become your wife, I probably would have never believed it. Did you plagiarize? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Parker. I, Parker. Take you, Heather. Take you, Heather. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Heather. Take you, Parker. Take you, Parker. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. It is my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Parker, I've drunk it out long enough. Will you please kiss your bride? <laughs> example to me and to others around them of what love truly is about. I'm so happy my little sister found her forever person. To quote from one of our favorite movies growing up, I'm glad you found that can't eat, can't sleep, reach for the stars, over the fence, World Series kind of stuff, kind of love. You are both so wonderful and deserving of each other, and I couldn't be more thrilled for both of you. I wish you both a wonderful future, a lifetime of happiness, and amazing memory surrounded by family and friends. Now the road ahead won't be easy. Life won't let it be. There will be times of doubt, times of sorrow, regret. There will be days of joy there will, and also days of loss. But you guys have made it this far. I have faith that you two will endure. For God himself had forged this bound. These who have something that most cannot find in a lifetime, but they are fortunate enough to have a lifetime together. To Parker and Heather, 